Hello everyone. We will be looking at CROS jam questions and answers. As you can see on the screen, we have question 1 already. Stay with me till the end of this video. Practice and I'm sure you are going to be successful in your jam. Let's look at the first question here. The royal law in the scripture according to James is A. Praying for one's enemies B. Leaving vengeance to God C. Submitting to authority always D. Loving one's neighbor as oneself The answer is Loving one's neighbor as oneself In the Bible, okay, in James chapter 2 verse 8 That Bible portion says If you really keep the royal law found in scripture Love your neighbor as yourself you are doing right. So that is why that is the correct answer. Question 2. At Shishem, God appeared to Abraham and told him that A. He should continue on his journey southwards. B. The land will be given to his descendants. C. He should leave his country. D. He should settle there with his descendants. In Genesis chapter 12 verse 7, the Lord appeared to Abraham and said, To your offspring I will give this land. So he built an altar there to the Lord who had appeared to him. So the answer is, the land would be given to his descendants. Question 3. According to Jeremiah, the new covenant is based on a. Righteousness B. Restoration C. Providence D. Circumcision The right answer is Righteousness A. Question 4 Joseph's foresight as a leader was exemplified in his A. Managing the house of Pharaoh very well B. Storing food for the seven years of famine C. Forgiving his brothers for selling him into slavery. D. Service to Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh. That is the right answer. Service to Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh. Please take note of that. Question 5. Moses made this statement when the Israelites. The statement is, Fear not, stand firm. And see the salvation of the Lord, which he will work for you today. When did Moses make this statement? A. When the Israelites were trapped between the hosts of Egypt and the Red Sea. B. Became afraid of the thunder and lightning at Mount Sinai. C. Were suddenly attacked by the Amalekites. D. Faced hunger and death at the wilderness of sin. The answer was when the Israelites we are trapped between the hosts of Egypt and the Red Sea. At Exodus chapter 14, verse 13 to 14. Verse 13 of that Bible portion, Moses answered the people, Do not be afraid. Stand firm and you will see the deliverance the Lord will bring to you today. The Egyptians you see today, you will never see again. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still." So that is why the answer is A. Question chapter... Question 6. I'm in the spirit now. Okay. Question 6 says, During the journey of the Israelites in the wilderness, God led them by day in the form of, is a fire, be light, pillar, or cloud? The right answer is cloud. And the Bible book of Exodus chapter 13 verse 21. By day, I'm reading the, that Bible verse now. By day, the Lord went ahead of them in a pillar of cloud to guide them on their way, and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light so that they could travel by day or night. So, the right answer is cloud. Question 7. The Israelites made the statement below to Samuel because his sons did what? The statement is, Behold, you are old, and your sons do not walk in your ways. Touching. 
Is it because the, his sons disregarded the advice of Israel's elders? They took bribes and perverted justice, had immoral dealings with women, or considered themselves above people? The answer is because they took bribes and perverted justice. Question 8. David gave Uriah leave to go to his house and wash his feet in order to, is it A, compensate him for fighting bravely for Israel, B, find an excuse to charge him for this desertion, C, conceal his adultery with Bathsheba, or D, give him time for realization. David knew what he was doing. It was to conceal his adultery for Bathsheba, the C. Question 9. Saul disobeyed God's command through Samuel because, is it because Samuel did not come early for the sacrifice? B. He was misled by the people. He feared the people and obeyed their voice or the people wanted to desert him. In the Bible book of 1 Samuel chapter 15 verse 24, that verse 24, that place reads, then Saul said to Samuel, I have sinned, I violated the Lord's command and your instructions. I was afraid of the men, and so I gave in to them. So the right answer is that he feared the people and obeyed their voice. Question 10. The golden calf which Aaron made for Israel was an evidence of A, a plot to replace Moses, B, the fear of the Canaanite, lack of faith in God, and attempt to revolt against God. The right answer is lack, the lack of faith in God, which is C. Question 11. According to David in the Psalms, God forgives sin so that, now before I pick the right option for this question. A. He may be feared. B. He may be praised. C. The sinner may not perish. D. The unrighteous may know him. In the Bible book of Psalms chapter 51, verse 1 to 19. Okay, if you read down that Bible portion. When the prophet Nathan came to him after David had committed adultery with Bathsheba, so you'll be able to spot that the right answer is the unrighteous may know him because from that verse you can see that Nathan came to him after David had committed adultery with Bathsheba. So according to David in the Psalms, God forgives him so that the unrighteous may know him. Question 12. One of the effects of Solomon's marriage to foreign women was that A. He ceded part of his kingdom to them. B. He lost all wisdom from God. C. He desecrated the temple of God. And D. His heart was turned after other gods. Yes, his heart was turned after other gods is the right answer. Question 13. The failure of Rehoboam to heed to the advice of the old men resulted in A. Famine in the land B. Division of the kingdom The war against Jeroboam The attack by the Philistines This action resulted to division of the kingdom Now, um, in the Bible book of 1 Kings chapter 12, verse 8 to 20 uh, Verse 8 and verse 20 In verse 8 that place reads, But Rehoboam rejected the advice the elders gave him and consulted the young men who had grown up with him and were serving him. Verse 20 When all the Israelites heard that Jeroboam had returned, they sent and called him to the assembly and made him king over all Israel. Only the tribe of Judah remained loyal to the house of David. You can see that it caused division of the kingdom. Question 14. Consequent upon the murder of Nabot by Ahab, God declared that A. 
It would require the blood of Naboth from Ahab's hands. Ahab's descendants would never ascend the throne in Israel. Dogs would lick Ahab's blood where Naboth's blood was licked. The sword would never depart from Ahab's house. So the right answer is that dogs would lick Ahab's blood where Naboth's blood was licked. Question 15. Consequence. Okay. Elijah killed 450 prophets of Baal on Mount Carmel after God has shown his A. Is it holiness, omnipresent, supremacy, or righteousness? Of course, the answer is supremacy. Question 16. The enmity of the sins of Judah before Josiah's reforms was exemplified by their failure to keep the Passover sins. Is it A, they were brought out of Egypt, the days of the judges of Israel, the days of Manasseh, or the days of all the kings? The right answer is E, the days of all the kings. And you can find this in the Bible book of 2 Kings, Chapter 23, verse 21 to 23. Question 17. Nehemiah, why in Ezai, functioned as the king's word? Now, in the Bible book of Nehemiah, chapter 1, verse 11, this Bible portion reads, Lord, let your ear be attentive to the prayer of this your servant, and to the prayer of your servants who delight in um, revering your name. Give your servant success to thee by granting him favor in the presence of this man. I was cup bearer to the king. So you can see the answer there, cup bearer, which is C. Question 18. The statement below by Zerubbabel and others resulted in what? Now, let's look at the statement. You have nothing to do with us in building a house to our God. So this statement resulted in A, the people disobeying King Cyrus' order, the people rising against their leaders, C, inciting the Judeans against their leaders, or D, the delay in building the temple. It resulted in the delay in building the temple. Question 19. When Daniel and his friends refused to defy themselves with the king's food, the guide gave them A. Vegetables and water only, B. An angel to protect them, C. Skill in all letters and wisdom, D. The skill to interpret dreams. A is the right answer. They were given vegetables and water only, and we know what happened after that. Question 20. God's pardon of the people of Nineveh teaches a lesson on the benefits of A. Forgiveness. B. Repentance. C. Tolerance. D. Justice. It teaches... Okay, the lesson is on the benefit of A. Forgiveness. Now, you can find that story in Jonah chapter 3 verse 6 to 10. Question 21. According to Osiah, God's people are destroyed for lack of A. Faith. B. Knowledge. C. Patience. D. Wisdom. Now, if you open your Bible to Osiah chapter 4 verse 6, that portion reads, My people are destroyed from lack of knowledge because you have rejected knowledge I also reject you as my prince, because you have ignored the law of your God. I also will ignore your children. So the answer is knowledge, which is B. Question 22. Osiah's message to Israel is centered on A, divine law, B, social justice, C, the day of judgment, D, divine punishment. In Osiah chapter 4, Verse 1 to 19, the entire passage details Osiah's charge against Israel. So the right 
So the right answer is D, divine punishment. Question 23. The statement, the statement you can see on the board, boldly written, during Isaiah's call illustrates what? Now let's look at this statement. Behold, this has touched your lips. Your guilt is taken away and your sin is forgiven. A. Does it illustrate God's ability to identify sinful people? B. That God adequately equipped his messengers. C. That God will only use sinners to glorify him. D. God's willingness to physically take away sin. That is the right answer. God's willingness to physically take away sin. Question 24. The vision of the dry bones by Ezekiel portrays A. Famine. B. Punishment. C. Judgment. D. Hope. That vision of dry bones portrays hope. That's the answer. Question 25. What was God's purpose in asking Ezekiel the question above? The question is, Son of man, can these bones live? A. To show his supremacy. B. To test Ezekiel's obedience. C. To express faith in man's ability. D. To bring to bear the disobedience of Israel. The right answer is to show his supremacy. Question 25, 26 now. The wise men from the east were able to know about the birth of Jesus because they were A. Geographers, explorers, astrologers, star worshippers. In the Bible book of Matthew chapter 2 verse 1 to 2, verse 1 says, After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw the east star when it rose and have come to worship him. There were astrologers. That's the right answer as we can get from that Bible portion. Question 27. The statement by Jesus entails what? Now let's look at this statement. Whoever does not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. This statement entails that A. Following him depends total surrender and commitment. B. One must be prepared to disown his parents. C. Following him leads to death on the cross. D. His followers must carry a cross. The right answer is A. Following him demands total surrender and commitment. Question 28. A good example of nature miracles performed by Jesus was that of A. Raising the dead, calming the storm, healing the leper, or D. Casting out demons. We are talking about nature here. So the right answer is B. Calming the storm. Question 29. One important fact that Mary brought out in Jesus' miracle of changing water to wine is that she A. Attended marriage feet regularly B. Must intercede for a miracle to occur C. Had a deep insight of her son and his abilities D. Was sister of the bridegroom In John chapter 2 verse 3 to 5 Verse 3 of that Bible um, chapter says When the wine was gone Jesus' mother said to him, They have no more wine. Verse 4, Woman, why do you involve me? Jesus replied, My hour has not yet come. Verse 5, His mother said to the servant, Do whatever he tells you. It means that the mom had a deep insight of her son and his abilities. Okay, now question 30. The parable which teaches the need for love for one's neighbor is that of A. Good Samaritan, B. Mustard Seed, C. Sower, 
the wheat and tails? The right answer is good Samaritan A. Question 31. Who are referred to as the salt of the earth by Jesus in his teaching on the mount? A. The scribes. B. Those who are condemned for his sake. C. His disciples. D. Those who are milk. The answer is those who are condemned for his sake. So the right answer is B. Question 32. In the story of the transfiguration of Jesus, Moses and Elijah represented the A, end of the age, B, old, old, again, old testament prince, C, law and the prophets, the glory of God. Now, the right answer is law and the prophets. Let's go to question 33. Question 33. Just before making a statement, Jesus, what? Now, the statement is, My house shall be called a house of prayer, but you make it a den of robbers. A. Just before making the statement, what did Jesus do? Locked up the temple, went out of the temple, taught those who had gathered in the temple, or drove out those who sold in the temple. That is the right answer. Jesus drove out all those who sold in the temple. Now, in Matthew chapter 21, verse 12 to 13, verse 12 says, Jesus entered the temple courts and drove out all who were buying and selling there. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the benches of those selling those. Verse 13, It is written, he said to them, My house will be called a house of prayer, but you are making it a den of robbers. Question 34. When Jesus was sent to Herod for all his trial, he was very glad to see him because he, A, had wanted to punish Jesus for calling him a fox, B, wanted Jesus to preach to him, C, knew Jesus would bless him, D, had long desired to see Jesus. In the book of Luke chapter 23 verse 8, it reads, When Herod saw Jesus, he was greatly pleased because for a long time he had been wanting to see him. From what he had heard about him, he hoped to see him perform a sign of some sort. So the right answer is, had long desired to see Jesus. Question 35. The statement below expresses the regret of, the statement is, did not our heart burn within us while he talked to us? So this statement expresses the regret of A, excessive love for Amnon, B, lack of control by his children, C, ability to forgive as a leader, D, wisdom and strength of character. You can find this in the book of Luke chapter 24, verse 32 to 35, and the right answer is lack of control over his children. Question 36. Jesus, as the good shepherd, was loved by the Father because A. Laid down his life for the sheep. B. Loved the sheep, understood the needs of the sheep, and D. Tended the sheep. In the book of Joshua chapter 10 verse 11, this Bible portion reads, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. So the right answer is laid down his life for the sheep. Question 34. Sorry, question 37. What effect did the death of Ananias and Sapphira have on the early church? A. Many more disciples were won to God. B. Great fear gripped all that were there. C. The disciples became more united. D. Apostle Peter was highly respected. The right answer is Great fear gripped all that were there. Question 38. The effect of Stephen's death on the early church was that A. Christianity was spread to non-Jews. B. It weakened the faith of the apostles. C. It united the church. D. The believers were arrested. In the book of Acts chapter 
8 verse 1 to 3, there the, you'll find the answer. Believers were persecuted and arrested. So the right answer, the believers were arrested. Question 39. The decision at the Council of Jerusalem laid to rest the issue of A. Circumcision before one can be saved. B. Abstaining from unchastity. C. Abstaining from the pollution of idols. C. Circumcision of all Gentiles for, for Christ. The right answer is circum, circumcision before one can be saved. Let's take a final question for the day. Question 40. The man who stirred up the people against Paul in Ephesus was A. Alexander, B. Demetrius, C. Gaius, C. Aristotle. So the right answer is Demetrius. Thank you for staying with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Okay, so we are going to stop here for today. But if you want to see more questions like this, you can drop a comment for me to see and we can have more jam questions like this question um, 41 you can see on the screen. But I want you to attempt this question yourself. The Christian concept of justification is that what? This is your homework. But for today, I'm going to say bye. Please don't forget to share this video, subscribe, and give me a thumbs up.